We're about to hear from three of the world's leading neurodisability and early detection experts on why this program is so important. Well, we want to start a screening program for every baby in this country, every single baby, irrespective of where they live, their postcode, whether they speak our English language or not, we want a screening program for every single infant that's born in this country. And we're gonna call this program BAMS for Bubs, which means baby movement screening. So that's what we're hoping to do in this program is to put an opportunity in the hands of every parent. Diagnosis used to happen in this country at 12 to 24 months of age, and we've heard that tonight. It's now possible to do accurately at three months of age. Until fairly recently, we just didn't have the tests that allow us to pick cerebral palsy with the accuracy that we can now detect it at a very early age. Uh, you know, 20 years ago when I was training as a paediatrician, we were deliberately taught that we shouldn't make a diagnosis of cerebral palsy until children were two years old, because yeah. it was impossible to be certain about the diagnosis any earlier than that. I still think we have some work to do culturally. There are a whole group of health professionals who still have yet to be convinced that early intervention makes a difference when we, we know now that in fact, we've got very good evidence that it is a very positive treatment. There are three tests that when they're used together, can um, predict cerebral palsy with 98% accuracy. And the, the test we wanna use in this screening program is the general movements assessment. And you might not be aware, but when a baby is born, before they learn skills like holding up their head or holding onto toys or things that we call voluntary movement skills, they are actually still moving. And these movements that they have are called general movements. So they're spontaneous movements that are generated by parts of the brain. And some very clever people in Europe um, have developed this into a, a sort of a classification assessment where we can watch a video of a baby just for a few minutes, three minutes, and, and people who are trained scorers can assess whether those general movements, those spontaneous movements of a baby are typical or atypical. But we still only have 25% of babies diagnosed by six months. So what does an early diagnosis mean for children diagnosed with cerebral palsy and their parents? And then what kind of difference can that make? Early diagnosis is the gateway to early intervention. We think of three important things from early intervention. Number one, neuroplasticity, to help the child learn the skills that they want. So to smile at their mom and dad, to give them a hug to their family members, to sit up. Uh, we think about parent support because it's a really stressful time and um, we know that parents that are supported um, have better well-being for the long run as well if we start that support early. And the third thing is there are complications that can happen with cerebral palsy. So by starting intervention early, we can prevent many of those complications. We've got everything actually, except the final government will and funding to make it happen. So we've got mm -hmm. the data, We've got the protocols. We know how sensitive and, and uh, specific this test is. We know the funding that's required and we've got a track record in doing all this screening. I think by joining together and with, with everybody's help, we can make this actually happen. <laughs>